If you are a loved one or in need of added care, our next guest provides assistance to help you out. That's right. Here to explain how they provide concierge personal care services is Nick Pasiello, the owner of Henderson Home Care Assistance. Good morning, Nick. Hi, Good morning. Nick. Good morning. Thanks Great for having me on. You. Good to be here. Uh, can you tell us about all about uh, Henderson Home Care Services, please? Well, Henderson Home Care Assistance provides personal care services for seniors and disabled adults so that they can remain in their homes and live purposeful, productive lives at home. Mm. That's right. One of your big goals, Nick, is to help people remain as independent as possible for as long yes. as possible, right? Yes. yes. Uh, you were mentioning to me in the green room before that w one of the very important aspects of, of uh, assistance of home care that people sometimes overlook is just cognitive function and helping people stay alert mentally. Yes. You yes. do a very good job at stimulating people, don't you? We have a, a toolkit we call Cognitive Therapeutics, and um, in this toolkit is very various games, mind exercises, and activities so that seniors who are experiencing some cognitive decline can keep their minds sharp. Mm. So you, you really focus on the total package, right? The total exactly. care package? Exactly. How, how does that, uh, tell us more about that. Is well, that a combination of physical, mental, spiritual aspects? Correct, correct. So when we uh, provide a caregiver for a senior member of our, of our society, we want to make sure that they live a complete and balanced life. And, and we affectionately call that the balanced care method. So we want to make sure that we're not only providing care for them, but we're finding out what their common interests are. If they mm. have mm. activities that they used to do when they were very much more active, we would take them to community centers, to churches, to art galleries to to um, any kind of recreational activity that they used to enjoy. Mm. Which is, is a great thing to be able to get out of the house. You mentioned that is kind of unique sometimes in the world of caregivers that a lot of folks just, you know, come in your home, help you in your home. Right. Uh, but to be able to have assistance getting out of the home right. and, and re-engaging in some of those activities that you love is right. important as well. Right. Mm. right. Um, seniors tend to, you know, become more shut in as they age and as they have more medical problems. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to, you know, to reverse that and get them out a little bit more so that they can still enjoy the things that they used to enjoy. For Nick, sure. tell us about the caregivers uh, themselves, how you, how you find them, how you select mm -hmm. them, how do you, how do you quantify, uh, you know, what they do and, and So we are. find caregivers from multiple sources, um, uh, e online and, and through, uh, you know, word of mouth contacts. Um, we require that our caregivers have a minimum of two years of verifiable experience. Mm. Um, they're all CPR certified and, and, and first aid certified. Um, they're backgrounded, fingerprinted, and bonded. Um, of course, the state mandates a certain amount of online education, and then we do additional education in-house once they've met that initial criteria. They also have to be, you know, free of contagious diseases. They get TB tested, and they mm. have to have a physical from a physician. Mm. That's great. It's great you do such thorough vetting. It is. It's extremely important to trust the person that you're inviting into exactly. your home. Yeah. Exactly. And Nick, you personally have a background uh, in medicine here in the Valley. Tell yes, us about I do. your background. I, I started out my health care career as a... EMT in New York City in Hell's Kitchen while I was in college and then I was a hospital administrator for many years after that including at one of the large hospitals here in state. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, uh, Nick, I find it interesting the, the way you actually schedule the caregivers is pretty unique as well. Is that mm. correct? Can you yes. Tell us about that. So we do a minimum of four hours um, a day. We don't do one and two hour shifts like some of our competitors do. So our caregivers essentially get one client a day. Mm. Oh, wow. So um, the, the reason behind that is if, if a caregiver was with a client before another client and they got delayed say in the restroom with the first client then they're going to be late for that second client and that's going to cascade down the rest of the day for every client they have thereafter right. we avoid that problem our caregivers only have one client a day so wow. are they em employees or contractors they're all employees okay they're all employees mm. we don't employ any independent contractors that's great that's beautiful wow. and, and how, how again do you measure the quality of the care so there's multiple ways we do that we have a comprehensive quality improvement program um, that includes supervisory visits, of which I participate in that as well. Mm -hmm. um, but also we contract with a third-party survey company, much like the hospitals do when you leave a hospital, you get a call, you know, yes. how was your experience? Yep. Well, 10% of our caregivers and 10% of our clients are randomly contacted every month with extensive questioning. And that feedback is used and quantified and, and published and we use that to continually improve our processes and service. Wow, it, it sounds like you do a really good job of overseeing, you know, the folks you're sending out oh, yes, into, yes. The, into the town. Uh, by the way, um, speaking of sending people out, uh, what areas do you service? We service Henderson, Boulder City, and a large part of Las Vegas. Okay. 
Yeah. And, and where, where are you located specifically? Our, our office is located in, on Hor West Horizon Ridge, 2480 West Horizon Ridge, uh, to be specific. Um, Okay, encouraging everybody to, to get out there and go into the office and, and learn more. Well, it's, it's not necessarily to go into the office. I mean, they certainly can. Um, most of what we would like them to do is visit our website, get a okay. little, you know, um, a, a sense of what we do. You know, call the office for more information. Be more than happy to to go out and do a complimentary assessment for any senior that may need services. Wonderful. Beautiful. And I saw your logo up there in one of the photos, changing the way the world ages. Yes. 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 That is that is our mission. Well. It, it, Aging really is being uh, done in a whole new way, isn't it? <laughs> well, people yeah. are living longer. Um, yep. they're, they're more active than they ever were. And, you know, previous, you know, decades, you were relegated to going into a facility. Right. And there was yeah. no choice in the matter. A lot of people can stay home with, with a little bit of help. Well, we appreciate you being here, Nick. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you Great very much. to have you. Experience a higher level of care with Henderson Home Care Assistance. Their offices are located on Horizon Ridge in Henderson in between Eastern and Green Valley. They offer complimentary in-person assessments for all prospective clients. Their number and website are on your screen, and they are a proud sponsor of The Morning Blend. Did you hear that? He was an EMT in Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, that's... that's My, a, you should get, like, a little pin for yeah, that. Yeah, the stories, I bet. Wow.